G'day guys, it's Dev from gfxheaven.net here. Um, in this series of tutorials we'll be making a little R2 model. Fairly similar to this one here. Um, I don't know if this is an actual model or just a cheap little toy. It looks like a bit of plastic to me, probably made in China. But we'll see how we go with this. Um, I'll be using this solely as my reference guide. I hate using lots of images and trying to match details correctly, so I'm just going to be doing it roughly. Um, you can add all the detailing you want on your own really. I'll show you how to make all these little vents and holes and things as we go. But I'm not going to worry too much about scale or positioning. You can do all that. Um, there's some tricky little things in here which we're going to indent and bring out. And the only major real problem we have with this is getting this sort of eye box and shape to curve around the dome. We'll take care of that probably in the second tutorial. Um, no idea how long this series is going to take. Probably looks maybe 10 or 15 uh, tutorials, each around 10 minutes each, so you get some idea of time. Um, let's crack into it. We're going to start at the dome and work our way down. So into Cinema 4D, Objects Primitive Sphere. So that's where we want to start. Um, I usually work in a fairly large size. That means I don't have to keep zooming in and zooming out on all the smaller things we're going to put in later because we'll model those all separately and place them on. It's easy to work on a big size for those. You want the sphere to look rounded. 24 is a bit rough so we'll change it to about 96. That should give us a good smooth look when we finish. And of course we want a hemisphere. Um, there's a little straight edge at the bottom of this dome. There's a blue band and a little grey bit so we'll extrude those down. Uh, we need to make our sphere editable first up, so hit C on your keyboard. And we want our edge selection tool. So we're going to loop select this bottom edge here. We're going to extrude it down just a little bit. That forms a little gap at the edge of the dome before the blue band. And extrude down again to just drag with your mouse this blue band and a little bit at the bottom. So obviously I'm not too worried about size and shape in this. If you've got dimensions you can work from, you can feel free to use those. I'll create a new material here. So this is just a placeholder, so we're just making a rough material at the moment. Grab a blue. And name your material. I'm just going to call it R2 Blue. You can see I can't touch type. And while we're here, we'll grab this polygon tool, selection, and loop select that band of polygons there. Go to your selection menu again and set selection. Call it blue band or something equally useful. And drag your material up to your sphere and your selection tag down to the selection area here on your material tag. So that limits our material to just that blue band which is the polygon selection. Uh, let's work on these top indents here. Um, again it's not too difficult to, to do. Uh, if we do it from the front view for our first selection we'll be able to get a good blue section at the front and that way when we place on the eye box and details are in the front they'll be roughly in the right place. So click on your sphere and back into here. We want to grab our live selection tool. Um, I usually work with a radius set to 1 when I'm working with polygons. If you have it set to too large, you can end up selecting a whole bunch of polygons, which isn't very helpful at times. Well, let's have a look here. Um, we're going to have some detailing, some blue panels, and we've got an eye. So, at about that row of polygons there, we want a set of about 12 across the front. That sticks either side of the middle. See the center line there. And let's switch to top view. There's our selected polygons. What we're going to do is make a selection. We're going to drag these all the way down to about there. If you hold shift, that adds to your selection. If you've got things selected you don't want, just hold your control key and click over those. And we want 
a selection like this. Uh, we need to create another selection next to this. We're going to leave a little gap in between. Probably two polygons and 12 round again. I'm not sure of the exact maths. Around our dome here. Um, 12 was just the first number that came into my head and we'll see if that fits. If it doesn't, won't be too far out. I'll actually pause the video here in a minute while we make a selection. We just want to carry this pattern on all the way around. Um, if you work back and forth on from the left and right hand sides, uh, when we get to the back, any funny sized polygons left open, we can just chuck at the back of his head. Um, I've got no idea what the back of his head looks like, so I'll claim there's a larger or smaller blue selection around there. So I'll pause here, just a series of 12 all the way around. You'll see what I mean in a second. Alright, there we are. So through the magic of television, we now have all our polygons selected. Um, 12 didn't quite work all the way around, so I used a couple set at 11 there. That's close enough. And let's jump back to perspective mode now. And for this step here, we want to like make little indents here with our selections. If we right click and want to grab our extrude tool. Uh, if you haven't used Cinema 4D before, basically you just click your mouse button and drag. Moves polygons in and out. Um, you can do it by eye. Um, from the look of it, that offset wants to be about minus 10. So just type that in there and click, and that looks good to me. Um, there's a little blue band that runs around the top here, so we'll grab that. So selection and loop selection, holding shift. Select that band there. And that's most of the blue polygons we want for the top. So selection, set selection. Blue top for the name. I'll know what that means. If you want to name it something a bit more inventive, feel free to. And once again, drag our material up to our sphere and drag your selection set down. Um, from memory, there's a little white dot on the top of his head where I think some little tool thing popped out in one of the movies. We'll make that as well. So we're still on loop select, we'll select that bunch of polygons and make a new material. Again, nothing fancy, we're just going to make this one white. There we are. Name your material. And set a selection set. Now, hopefully you were able to follow along with all of that. Uh, on the next tutorial, we'll move on to doing this little box thing that has the lens in it. Uh, it's a bit tricky to do. Um, certainly a lot more interesting and a bit more fun than the parts we were just doing. So I'll see you then.